Hey guys, Crafty Sandwiches here, and today I am bringing you Assassin's Creed 3. Um, I'm running this on my new PC, it's, pro it's HD quality by the looks of it. So I've already, don't mind that, I was just fucking about on the game, and that's my old gamer tag, but now I'm starting again. Used to be when so, let's enjoy the introduction. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden. Some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I'll tell you. After all, I've seen the truth. device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. That's pretty funny, because we're still alive. They've guiding us <laughs> in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. So, guys, I think the... Uh graphics look good i'm not actually on my computer screen because it's hooked up to my telly so i have to keep swapping and changing between the channels but uh my my record at one video before my voice kicked, kicked in and kicked out so i have it turned up so if it's loud i apologize but it's all i can do for now so yeah um i'm going to do some more minecraft videos um i see that uh, i got a new subscriber so welcome to my channel um, I'm going to be uploading this, I recorded it on the 30th of July, so it should be up either the 31st or um, or just tonight, like, I'm not too sure yet, because I'm not going to render it or anything like that, because when I click record, it goes back to the start, because my computer is a good computer, so I'm going to try do the introduction to this. Let's go. And yeah, I gonna um, I do this game because um, it's my favorite between the combats and stuff like that. I love the combat in this game, man. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. It's just the way you can combo kill and stuff. Um, I'm doing this one because um, this story is based on Connor and um, his father, pretty much. 
it's, uh, between the Templars and uh, Assassins. I won't go too much into detail because you'll find out more in the game. Um, uh, the reason I'm doing Altair Assassin's Creed 1, I'm going to be doing that um, probably in the next few weeks. I'll be doing Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood Revelations as well. Um, Assassin's Creed is one of my favourite games, it's what really got me into gaming. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Right, sorry if you heard a bit of crackling there, just fixing the headphone on my ear. So, yeah, I, I couldn't record a whole lot today because I was doing a game um, development course. I'm still doing it. Um, it's pretty good. I could look at that for smoothness and free running. It's magnificent. I love that apple. And that is just really cool. I know you don't hold a... You can hold a the proper sprint, I think. There we go. So, it's going on for about six minutes. I am have a stopwatch here on my iPhone because just to keep track on time. So I'll probably after this introduction thing, when I go into the animus, I'll probably cut the episode and then do do you know just um, record the next part. So yeah, so my va videos now will be a lot better quality. So yeah, so hopefully those who are watching that haven't subscribed um, should subscribe to my channel because it'll help me out with tons and you will get notified of my videos as well. It wouldn't be hard to forget my name or anything like that, but yeah. So this only works if you have every piece of that little thing you put into the machine to light up the place. And you get that true Desmond side of the story. Okay. Desmond? Do you hear us? <sighs> yeah. What happened? The temple triggered. I can't wait for Black Flag, guys. Have a pre ordered and all. Uh, and I can't wait for the Xbox One as well. I think my Elgato should still work on it because it just works off a HDMI thing. So there's no extra cables and stuff. So yeah, it should be all good. I'll be able to record. Or what I might do, I might go over into my granddad's on live stream. If I can figure it out, and then it'll be uploaded straight away, like to YouTube, and yeah. Look at that for running; looks awesome. Go on, oh, and it looks good as well. Watch when he's running towards you. Look. It must be pretty fit to run and talk at the same time. Picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Look at that moving doors. Awesome. This black flag is going to be better too. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Look, it's so smooth compared to the other games. Plus, these games have been 
enhanced and a lot better than the last ones, you know. You know, if the whole jumping a... Oh, you horrible bastard. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. Okay, now, now we're in business. Ah, that's just awesome. I'm gonna try get full synchronization as well in these videos. Cause it's always nice for achievements. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Boom. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Oh, okay, I was right. Never mind. Why did you do that, Desmond? I died. For fuck's sake. Up on there. Jump. Oh, right, right, right. Um, I'm playing Assassin's Creed 2 at the moment. So it's kind of a different feel to free running. I think that's why we're doing this. Oh, yeah, dodgy can't. Uh. Alright. Right. You just have to hold free run. I thought we had to just sprint. That's why it's not working. I'm playing Assassin's Creed 2 now for the past few days, like, and I'm nearly finished the game, like. I didn't really, like, realize uh, the way the free running system worked on this. Right. I'm gonna cut this episode here, guys. I'm just gonna leave the uh, paused for now. Um, like and subscribe. It'll help me out tons. And yeah, that's all for me, guys. So stay cool and stay crap.